bees buzzing around flowers, a familiar sight, a symbol of nature's delicate balance. They flit from blossom to blossom, collecting nectar. But what if that peaceful image shattered? What if they all turned on you, their gentle hum transforming into a menacing drone? Not just one sting, not ten stings. One thousand bees, a living, buzzing cloud of fury descending upon you. Would you survive the pain, the sheer agony of hundreds of stingers piercing your skin simultaneously? Would you even make it to the hospital in time, battling the escalating effects of the venom as the ambulance races against the clock? Or would your own body turn against you in a catastrophic allergic reaction, your immune system spiraling out of control? Let's find out what really happens when you face the wrath of a thousand stingers. It starts with a sound, an unsettling vibration in the air, a sharp buzz that intensifies, then a moving shadow that darkens the ground beneath your feet. Suddenly, a swarm surrounds you, furious, united, and deadly, a swirling vortex of stinging insects. You wave your arms frantically. You run, but it's too late. They're faster, more numerous. The first stings hit, sharp and searing, then 100, a horrifying landscape of red welts spreading across your body, then 1,000, an overwhelming assault that pushes your body to its absolute limit. Each bee injects molitin, a venom that breaks your cells apart like acid, dissolving the very building blocks of your tissues. Your skin turns red, inflamed, and swells like it's burning from the inside out. Your immune system? Overdrive, a desperate attempt to combat the overwhelming onslaught of toxins. If you're allergic, your throat can close in seconds, cutting off your air supply. Your blood pressure crashes. Your organs begin to shut down one by one as the venom takes its toll. Even if you're not allergic, this is no small attack. It's a massive assault on your body's defenses. A normal adult can die from 500-1,000 stings, a grim statistic that highlights the deadly potential of a swarm attack. The venom overwhelms your kidneys, your heart, and your nervous system, crippling vital functions. And finally, coma. A dark abyss where consciousness fades and your body fights for survival. Your only chance? An epinephrine shot within minutes, a life-saving injection that can reverse the allergic reaction, and emergency care fast enough to keep your organs alive. So next time you see a swarm, don't underestimate it. Respect its power and keep your distance. A thousand bees can bring down a human faster than most wild animals, a testament to their collective power and deadly venom. But here's something even crazier to think about. What if all insects on Earth suddenly vanished overnight? Would it save us from the threat of swarms? or doom us all to a far more devastating fate?